Hey y'all, Irix guy here, and a lot of you asked why I did not use a sunshade for my controller. Now the thing is, the iPod Touch model that I use, I found the uh, even in somewhat sunny conditions, it still seems to be good enough for me to see what's going on. Now keep in mind, when I fly, I'm not flying FPV. Sure, I have FPV functionality, but I'm using it only to ensure that my camera angle is correct. I'm flying line of sight to be safe. Uh, but with that being said, this little doohickey here, and I'm pulling it out of the box for y'all right now, it can better assist with being able to see your, uh, your device's screen in bright sunlight. Check the link within this video's description. You can find where to order it online, but look at how easy this pops out. Before I expand it, I wanna show you, see how small and, and compact that is. That's important for me. If you've watched my other videos, you know that I reiterate over and over, it's gotta be small, it's gotta be lightweight. Because when I'm traveling with a drone, I'm not just traveling with my drone. I've got multiple cameras, I've got food, I've got clothing, and I don't wanna junk up my travel bags with extra weight and extra bulk. And that's why I cannot stand the Inspire One. And that's why I love the DJI Phantom series because it's smaller, it's more lightweight. It's easy to get around with, but it's large enough to where it can perform well in, uh, in moderately windy conditions, etc. Now you wanna keep your, your black part on the inside there so that uh, it's, it would be easy to assemble this and have the, the white on the inside, but black actually does a better job of, uh, of making it look, your screen look better in the sunlight. So what we do now, we simply push this down on here and we're gonna put our device in here. Again, I'm using iPod Touch. Check the link within this video's description and you can find the, uh, the exact model that I'm using. Also this short cable here that makes it just a lot cleaner. So I run it through here, connect to my iPod Touch, and then I push this down and now I can, uh, that little flap right there will better keep the sun out. And that's it. I mean, obviously I'm gonna pop up my, my antennas before I fly, but you can see how clean that looks. Just look at that. I'm gonna bring it closer to the camera here so you can see how clean this looks. Just look at that. And see when you're in direct sunlight, no more holding your hand over it and, and hoping that you can block that sun out. This does a, in my opinion, a magnificent job of better blocking the sun. Now sure, in extremely sunny conditions, there's always gonna be glare. There's no way to do away with 100% of the glare, but something simple like this can make it more tolerable. You know, when you are lining up those, those videos or those photos, whatever you're doing when you're flying your drone, out there having a good time. This just makes it better. And again, it breaks down easily. It's got nice Velcro on it, easy to throw in your case, along with your other gear, very lightweight and not bulky and, and again that's i'll reiterate it reiterate once again how important that is for me at least so thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe youtube.com forward slash irix guy and again check the link within this video's description and you can find where to order the sunshade the short cable the ipod touch model that i use the drone batteries everything it's all there if you can't find it just ask and be sure to subscribe, youtube.com forward slash irixgah. Fly safely and y'all have fun. Hey y'all, irixgah here. I wanted to take a moment to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. I'm an independent channel and it's viewers like you that help me to continue to grow. I appreciate your viewership and y'all have a good day.